what's up everyone, my name is Terry Figer and welcome back to Monstrum. And you're probably wondering why I didn't actually... You're probably wondering why I didn't actually um, put my little intro animation in the beginning. And that's because that normally with, with the Let's Play videos that I've seen people do, there isn't an animation in the beginning. So I wanted to see what it would be like if I didn't put one in. Just see how it is. So I'm in trouble. I'm... I am in deep trouble. Oh god. Please. Get me out of here. Oh god, that thing is angry. That thing is not happy. Do I have a weapon? I have a weapon. I have a weapon. I have a weapon. It's okay, I got a weapon. Okay. Upstairs. That thing, I'm j just to let you guys know, I actually have been researching this game. I've uh, looked into the monsters mainly, so okay. I think I'm far enough away from him. I'm just gonna go up here so I can see him coming. Jeez, the frame rate is just dropping. Okay, so basically, for one thing, my flashlight is completely run out of batteries. It's it's just it's just out of batteries. So goodbye, flashlight. Um, so I so I just am looking into this game and I found out that with regards to the monsters um that big flashlight face there who i call jack he's actually known as the brute and he and basically he's like the dumbest out of the monsters but he's also the fastest and the strongest obviously um and the pedal head i actually thought that the pedal head and like the snickers bar were like different creatures but they're actually the same one the, the, the creature actually, uh, like, because I thought that the Snickers bar stood on two legs and Pedal had got on all fours. The fact of the matter is that the, is that the one who I th thought that was a Snickers bar standing upright, that was actually the Pedal head. When they're in their idle animation, they're standing upright, and whenever they get into attack mode when they see me, they get down on all fours and come at me. So Pedal head is known as the Hunter. And there's apparently a third monster in this game, but I'm playing version 0.8.2 and the monster was released in 0.9.5, so that means I'm not going to encounter it here, because I'm not playing 0.9.5. And the monster is known as the Fiend, and it's basically like a skeletal, craggly skinned creature that hovers. It's got very stumpy legs and it hovers. It causes electrical interference, it's got telekinetic powers, it's apparently the hardest monster to evade. And I also found out, just for fun, that the brute is male, the hunter is female, and the fiend, I think, is, is, is like, it's, un, it's unsure. So, yeah. But I'm still going to just keep calling them the nicknames I give them. I found out that the brute, I haven't actually been calling the brute Jack anymore like I used to. I've actually been calling the brute uh, Big Red. I don't know why, but it just seems very fitting for him. Big Red. And um, the Hunter, I'm still calling Pedalhead. The Fiend, I haven't encountered before. I haven't even thought of a nickname for that one. And I've actually been playing this game on my own, seeing to try to beat it. And to be honest, I actually did beat it. I was able to get out through the submarine. And I got the image that you see on screen right now. And I know that you guys didn't actually see me beat it. So, so for all you know, I could be, I could be lying. But it, if you do, oh wait, where? Oh, it's that. But if you do, trust me, and I advise that you do, because I do not like to lie. I hate liars. Then, then you would see that that uh, then you'd realize that I actually did beat it. But in case there are some of the people who, come on, how did he find me? Oh wait, no, there's actually more than one. I'll get to that in a moment. But just in case you do need to see me beat it, I am going to beat it. With the submarine ending the less, because that was actually the easiest one for me to do. So I still don't have any light. Uh, drop these. Pick up that. Oh no. Don't you dare. There we go. Okay. And he comes. There's Big Red. Oh no, you don't. No, you don't. I'm. I'm not in here, Big Red. I'm not in here. Goodbye. 
Oh, no, he's coming back in. No, now he's leaving. So apparently, there's also more than one of these monsters. Because I encountered one when I was playing it for myself. I encountered one way down below. Way down below. And then I... Uh, and then I ran away from it. Like, it, it didn't even trigger me. I just, like, I didn't even trigger it. It didn't start chasing me. I just saw its lights coming from and around the corner. So I ran up to the highest point I possibly could. And then when I got to the bridge and, and, and went to open up the door, there there he was. And the, and there couldn't, and he could not have possibly gotten up there that fast because he, because the brood is not as fast as the player. It's actually slower than the player. So... That means that there are obviously two brutes, or possibly more, on, on the ship. But there's at least two. Although the game, the, the the game wiki that I found all this information on said that the hunter, the pedal head, is that there is only one hunter per game. So I guess that's a comforting fact. And as for the fiend, I have no idea how many of them there can be. Probably just one. But with the brute, I swear there was two of them. Get out of here. Yeah, I don't like you and you don't like me. But you need to go. <sighs> he freaking tore open. Oh. Don't you dare. No, no, I'm not in here. I'm not in here. You look like you're made out of molten lava and rocks. Given the glowing that I can see from your eyes and mouth, I wouldn't be surprised. No! Oh. Oh. No! Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God! He just stamped right on my nuts! Ouch! I heard them crack and crunch. Oh, not responding. Yeah, no, he did grab me by the face. Yeah, I saw it. He stepped, like, right in this area. That hurt. Okay. Oh, I'm not playing version 0 0.8.2. It's version 0 0.8.1, sorry. So yeah, there's two brutes. I found out the names of them, but I, I'm probably just, chances are, I'm just going to be calling them the nicknames that I gave them. I've actually got Mozilla Firefox open right now. It's, it's behind this window, and I can see the tabs for each character monster up there, titled The Brute, The Hunter, and The Fiend. So chances are, because those are exposed to me, I'm going to end up calling them by those names. And while I was playing through the game so many times and trying to, to get the submarine ending, and then I eventually did, um, I, the Brute was really, really being a nuisance. It just kept on showing up, and and um, and because he's so fast, I wasn't able to get into another room fast enough to, uh, to uh, hide and, and evade him. And with all the notes I've been picking up, I've picked up this many notes... And, um, I don't know if I should read through them right now. I don't really think you guys would be interested. And apparently I can also, uh, pick up chairs. I don't know why. Probably to, like, barricade the doors? I'm guessing. Okay. Oh, no, stairs. Don't want to go to the stairs until I search all the other... Oh, security camera. Didn't even see that there. Okay, no glow sticks either. And I also found out that those barricaded rooms with, like, the hole in the wall, or, like, the, the hole in the door that I can't open, I found out how to open them. You have to take a radio or an egg timer or something that makes continuous noise, turn it on, throw it into the hole, and then hide somewhere else and wait for the monsters to get attracted to the noise and, to get, and they'll want to get into the room where the noise is coming from. And to do that, they'll have to break down the door. So, oh, no, no. So I found out that that's what you gotta do. I like how I've got a character model, too. Okay, I wonder if there's like a multiplayer way to play this game. And apparently the, the little the little option to like interact happens when I look at the security cameras, but whenever I press E on them, nothing actually happens. So I don't know what exactly I have to do with that. I'd probably have to look it up on the wiki. I've already got the wiki page. Oh, God! Oh. Oh! I tripped! No. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Can I hide? Oh, God! Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, what the hell?! Come on, man! You just tore open a door and then came down the other way? Come on, that's not fair. 
Yeah, jerk and a half. Oh, God. Hide. This is the only place I could hide. Oh, God. No. No. D just walk away. Walk away. No. 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 He's looking right at me. Oh, God. My heart. Oh, my goodness. My chest. Just like, I felt like my heart was going to pound right out of my chest. Do I have any weapon? No. Okay. I really want to walk away. I don't hear his footsteps, but he could just be standing idly. No. Just stay away. Stay away. Okay, it's good now. There we go. I also found out the way to get around these cameras is to just go underneath them like that. It's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm inside here. Uh, darn it, I thought that was the duct tape for a moment. They could easily disguise the duct tape as just like a toilet paper roll in here. Uh, uh, okay, okay, I'm good now. Jeez, my frame rate is just dropping. Why? Okay, good, I've got a weapon. Or at least a distraction tool. Um, hmm. Well, thank you. Come on! Okay. Is he coming this way because... I don't need him here, or is he- or is this just him on a lower level? I think this might be him just on the lower level. Because I went up a level. Uh, okay, that's, uh, okay, oh yeah, yep, yeah, he's on this, he's on this freaking level, he's freaking on this level, oh god, there he is, okay, well damn, saw me again, every single time he sees me, the frame rate just drops, I don't get why, okay, anything in this room, oh god, he is mad, he is mad, he is not happy, Go away! Okay, close the door. Ha ha, I'm hidden. Oh, come on! How does he know to come in here? Yeah, he got me. And then he steps on my face. They say that this monster is the dumbest one. They say that this monster is the dumbest one, but honestly, I don't think so. He is able to seek me out specifically in every single room that I go to. Like, there's corridors upon corridors, and there's rooms upon rooms, and I go down a random corridor, pick a random room, and he always beelines right towards that one. He knows where I am. I'm, I'm telling you, it's the, the character page says that this is the stupidest monster, he's got the lowest intelligence, but but I don't, I, I'm inclined to believe that he's actually got a high intelligence. He's got high speed and high strength. Sure, why not? And, oh yeah, sure, so I can just open up the door just by kind of like placing my hand on it and then it just pops open. But honestly, yeah. Okay, so for one of these rooms, what you gotta do is you gotta like turn on a radio or an egg timer or something, toss it through here, and then when the monster wants to go into the room to see what the noise is, they gotta break down the door. Okay, okay. So hopefully Big Red isn't gonna show up again. And the hunter is gonna pop out through the vents. They use the ventilation system to get around. Oh! And then to get in here, I've got a fuse now! So I hope there's something useful in this room. There we go. Uh, we've got, oh, we've got a flare gun. That's actually the rarest thing, to, the rarest item in the game, so I'm glad I got that. Oh, it's not sound like a good sound. Okay, toilet. It's, no, it's not duct tape, it's a freaking vase. Or a jar. No. Oh, I ended up under, underneath the camera. I'm th underneath the camera, so. He didn't get triggered. Hey, look at this. Do you guys see how I have six inventory slots? I mean, my webcam is covering up a few of them, but I've got six inventory slots. If I pick up this, I get two more inventory slots. That's awesome. Okay, I think I've already gotten this note. Oh, no, number eight. I haven't. Hey, I think 
I think I'm going to go and hide somewhere, not under the table. That's not a good hiding spot. But I'm going to go and hide somewhere. And once I do, I'm going to read you guys all of my notes that I got. Educate you guys a little. Note number one. I was looking through the container manifest on night shift and there seems to be a misprint. Container 106 listed lists T-L0N as its point of origin. I've never seen this serial before and it doesn't match any of the other container blocks on board. Thought you might want to look into it. Good morning, Brody. Number two. Brody, I checked up on the serial number. Oh, wait a second. No, yeah, number one. Okay. I thought it was, number one was directed to somebody, but it wasn't. Okay. So, Brody, I checked up on the serial number, and you're right. It doesn't exist. However, I was able to find the sender, Mr. S. Kobayashi. I wonder why he was traveling with us. So it would seem he's bought a new residence in LA and figured he could use his own boat as free transport. I guess if you want to know what's inside, you can ask him. I like my job too much. Good night, Larry. Note number three. Larry, I opened container 106 at the start of my shift. Doorway blocked off with a bunch of old books, floor to ceiling. I just left it. Later, when I sent Chekhov out on patrol, he came back and told me one of the containers was damaged. Container 106, so it looks like it fucking exploded. Maybe we should ask some questions. Good morning, Brody. Okay, so they're communicating with each other, Larry and Brody. Oh, number four is a ship doctor's report. February 14th, 1977. Oh, this game took place in 1977? Jeez. Received two patients, ABS, G. Chekhov, and C. Wilson with... C. Wilson? Wow. I've actually got a friend who could use Fiddle's initials and name. With two degrees scalding to face an upper body consistent with exposure to pressurized steam. Both patients were showered when burnt. Luckily, they were found quickly and early treatment administered. Wounds were cooled and cleaned, loose dressing applied. Discharged with instruction to avoid physical labor which could rupture blistering, causing infection and, of course, pain. Prescription relayed to Captain Nicholson for ship rota adjustment. Dr. Zhao, copy received by ship quartermaster for archiving. Okay, so it says that th th that um, they were, so yeah, th th they were like secondary scalding. They were like burned. I'm thinking that that might have been as the result of Big Red because he looks like he's all fire-based. Okay, here we go. Oh, Captain's Log, entry 74. Brody and Fred came to me today. Brett hasn't returned or reported in for maintenance for three days. I've shared the news with the rest of the crew, but no one's seen him. We searched the entire ship, found his tools near the boiler, covered a black soot, but he seemed to be gone. Didn't seem like the type to jump overboard, but it's looking likely at this point. Getting the rest of the crew to believe it is proving difficult, though. They began moving around the ship in pairs. This is an unwritten rule. Hopefully they'll come to their senses in a few days and accept was happening. Rather than believing in sea monsters, with Chekhov and Wilson sticking to their bunk, we need all the remaining crew on top form for the Pacific Crossing. Captain jo Joanne Nicholson, February 18th, 1977. Okay. That was note number seven. I, I, I got notes one, two, three, four. I'm missing five and six, and I have seven, eight, nine. So note number eight. Hopefully Ellis didn't take too long running this to you, Carlson. I want you two to check out the engine room. We've connected all the we've checked all the connections in the castle tower, so it's definitely nothing on this side. Being without power in the Pacific isn't exactly desirable, so get to it. Okay, so we're in the Pacific Ocean specifically. P.S. Ellis asked me why I didn't just fax this to you in a power out to think the fan the fats finally moved to his brain, Fred. Oh geez, that's insulting. No number nine. Fred, there's a hole in the engine. It looks melted inwards. You need to send the rest of engineering down here. Big Red. There are noises from further down the shaft. I'll check for fire while waiting for the others. Bring the captain. We might need to mayday. Keep Ellis out of the way now. He's back with you. Couldn't go half a step down here without getting jumpy. Carlson. So those are all the notes. I am missing notes 5 and 6, so I don't, so I don't think I have the full story here of insight of what's happening. I'd like to though. It intrigues me. It, is, it does actually intrigue me. I really like the storyline of this game. It's duct tape. I got duct tape. I still have my. I don't have my fuse. This is the the thing that that operates the power. If I find another fuse, I'll get I'll get power to this side. Oh, here we go. Power core. That's what I'm talking about. Let's let let's let there be light. Fuse in. And then we go boom. 
And bam, there's light. There's power to this place once again. So I don't need this open anymore. Let's pull out my fire extinguisher. Oh god! Oh god! No. That big thing on the wall is a trap. There's a trap laid by the, um, the, uh, the hunter. It's not a good thing. They, they, they wait for me to trigger it and then they burst out and then attack me. Not friendly. So let's pull this open or up. Uh, let's take a look. Let's use the duct tape because why not? Because that's the only thing a duct tape can be used for. Um, sometimes I can find like other items just sitting around here. We got anything? Uh, let's see. There used to be a glow stick in here. Now there's a freaking egg timer. I don't know why. Hello? Was that just a hallucination in my own mind due to my insanity? Or was that actually in the game? I just heard something that sounded like some kind of toot. Or toot. I had that kind of sound rate. And it sounded like it, it was like a boat horn. It resembled that. But it seemed really short for an air horn. For a... Okay, deck six, deck five. Okay, now I go down another level, and now we're getting into the metal-looking parts of this place. And 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 after looking into it, these these uh, little poofs of steam are able to uh, they are able to actually uh, stun the monsters, so that's good. But they are also able to flat out kill me for some reason. So that's not too good. Okay, let's just cross to the side. Oh man, the frame rate is dropping. I don't get why. It usually drops whenever there's a monster around me. Here we go. Hey! We've got bolt cutters. That is used for the... Oh, what's that? I don't know. That's used for the helicopter. So let's see. Is there anything else of any use? Notes? No? Okay. I remember this. I guess these are the containers that look like they quote-unquote fucking exploded. Okay, let's climb up. Ugh. And I also found out that those uh, hunters can apparently also climb up. Climb up poles and stuff, and they can even climb up the side of the ship. I didn't find that out through personal experience, I found that out through research. So let's uh, do the... I also messed with the controls of, of the game, um, tinkered around with them a bit. I changed the interact key from F to E because that's what I'm used to and it's easier that way. Okay. I think we just went up a level. I didn't want to do that. So let's go back down a level. Ooh, we've got gasoline. This is good. If I can find a lighter, then I can start a fire. Because that's apparently a thing in this game. You can actually... Are you kidding me? It saw me? Well, dang, okay, up we go then. Because you can apparently pick this up. Eh. Oh, oh god. Oh god, I think I glitched it. Oh no, oh no. I glitched this. Get out of here! No! Oh no. This is no longer able to be used. I glitched the bump equipment. Ah. Dang it. Alright. Well, fine, I guess you're screwed. Oh, wait. No, it, it's fine, it's fine. So, E and press and hold, it's got this. I don't know what I'm supposed to plug this into. I'm supposed to take it around this way and... Nope, that's not it. That's not the ticket. I thought that I was supposed to use this to fill it up with gas, but it, again, doesn't work. It's locked. Yeah, okay, so I gotta find the keys. Where are the keys? I don't know. But I must find the keys. I left Paddlehead on the other side of the whole ship. So let's go down, down to deck three. Here we are. This is what I'm looking for. Actual inwards quarters that lead to inner rooms. We've got the duct tape, so I can use that on the, uh, the raft. The unfortunate thing is that the raft is all the way on the other end of the ship now. And that's where Paddlehead was. There's no way I want to go over there yet. Oh, here we go. Now we're finding the stuff for the submarine. Uh, I don't really know if I really need the radio, so let's dump the radio. Let's pick up this. Give me back my light. Okay. And I need a power cord if I want to enter that room, and I don't know what's in that room. Guess can't worry about it now. Got to keep moving forward. 
flashlight. Flashlight. Drop, drop, drop. Pick this up. Scroll down. Hello, light. Yes. Oh. No way I wanted to die This when I'm this far ahead in the game. Haha. <laughs> Actually, it takes longer than you think to, to play this game through. It's really hard. It requires a lot of concentration. And we got sub headlights too. Close another glow stick in case I want them again. Um, I really should find the sub so I can plug this in. So let's go down a level. Oh, oh god. Oh no, 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 no. That is the hostile. That is the hostile. Hey, I found the sub. Okay. Uh, yeah. Plug you in. Done! Okay. Let's get up a level because that hostile's coming. He's a coming. Right? Oh, yeah, he's in here. I hear him. Her. Sorry, it's a her. Uh. Hello? Show up! Show up, you coward! Yeah, I'm hearing the monster constantly. I'm not actually seeing it, though. Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave this episode off here because this one's gone on for long enough. I'll continue on this playthrough in the next episode. So, thank you, everybody, so much for watching this video. Let me know if you that down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.